that's what it says in the Quran, yes. So Jesus is coming to judge the world. So you just proved Jesus is Allah, your Lord. Thank you. Okay, now, mm -hmm. go to Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 210. Do they await but the Allah should come to them in covers of clouds and the angels as well, and the matter is then decided, and to Allah all matters are returned. So who comes on the shadows of the clouds with angels? Allah. You sure, right? That's what it says in okay. Baqarah. Okay, Matthew 16, 27. Okay, for the Son of Man will come... And the glory of his father with his angels, and then he will reward each according to his works. Jesus says, I, the Son of Man, come in the glory of my father with the angels to repay people. As the Quran in agreement, Jesus is going to come with the angels to judge the world. That's what it says in the Quran, yes. So you just proved Jesus is Allah, your Lord. Thank you. Jesus in Matthew says, God is my father. I ride the clouds of heaven. I send them to gather the nations before me, repay them and judge them. And the righteous, I will give them heaven, Jannah, and the wicked, I will send them to hell. And that's Matthew. Do you believe that about Jesus? I don't believe that, but I'm oh. understanding what you're saying. Now I'm going to show you something. Go to your Quran, Surah Al-Hajj, chapter 22 of the Quran. Chapter 22. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Now that you said that, now I respect. Now I know you're, there's some hope. The God is working in your heart. Go to chapter 22, and I want you to get there. Surah Al-Hajj, chapter 22. Okay. When you get there, I want you to look verses 6 and 7. 6 and 7. Okay, I got it. Okay, read it for me slowly. That is because Allah is the truth, and because he gives life to the dead, and because he is over all things competent. And that... They may know that the hour is coming, no doubt about it, and that Allah will resurrect those in the graves. Okay, pay attention to what your Quran said. Allah is the truth, al haq He gives light to the dead. The hour is mm -hmm. coming, have no doubt about it, where he will raise them from the graves, right? Yeah. Okay, so on Yom al qiyamah I want you to listen carefully. On the day of judgment, Allah will raise the dead from the graves. He is the truth who gives life to the dead. Allah raises the dead at the hour from their graves. Not a creature, not Jibreel, not Muhammad. Allah at the hour raises the dead from their graves. He's the truth and he gives life. So remember that because now I'm going to read to you something from the Gospel of John. I'll read it for you. You can write it down. John 5, 21. John 5, 21. Pay attention because where we're going to go with this. John 5, 21. Watch what's going to happen here. For as the Father raises the dead, this is Jesus speaking, as the Father raises the dead and gives life to them, even so the Son gives life to whom he will. Quran says Allah gives life to whom he will. Jesus says, I the Son and the Father, we give life to whom we will. That's number one. John 5.25. John 5.25. Watch here. John 5.25. John 5, verse 25. This is Jesus again. Pay attention. I'm going to read it slowly for you. John 5, 25. Most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming. Don't forget what you read in Surah Al-Hajj. In chapter 22, verse 7, it says, the hour is coming. Have no doubt about it. Allah will raise them from their graves. Notice what Jesus said. John 5, 25. More, most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming. And now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. Jesus says that hour, they're going to hear the voice of the Son of God, my voice, and they'll come to life. Oh, my goodness. John 5, 28 to 29. Write it down. John 5, verses 28 to 29. Because yeah, I'm going to read it for you. I got it. Okay, let me read it for you now. John 5, 28, 29. Pay attention. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming. Hour is coming which all who are in their graves will hear his voice. And 25, it says, the voice of the Son of God, and come forth. Now, final one, John 14, verse 6. John 14, verse 6. Watch what's okay. going to happen here. John 14, verse 6. 
Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Okay, you just read in your Quran. Allah is the truth. He gives life. The hour comes. Allah will raise them from the graves. Jesus here said, I'm the Son of God who, like the Father, gives life to whom I want. I am the truth and the life, and the hour is coming where those in the grave will hear my voice, the voice of the Son of God, and live. Why is Jesus speaking as if he's your God, Allah? Why is he doing what the Quran says only Allah can do? Oops. Conveniently. Everything that you have just said is from John. And so if I show you from Muhammad that John is the gospel, are you going to say I'm stupid and I'm sorry for arguing with my prophet? Uh, no. Okay, now, the, wait. The Quran says there's a prophecy of Jesus in the gospel. Where is that prophecy? The Quran says there's a prophecy of Jesus in the no, Bible. No, Muhammad. I'm sorry. There's a prophecy of Muhammad in the gospel. Where is that prophecy? Oh, the prophecy of Muhammad in the gospel. Which one? Uh, which one was it? I know Isaiah. Yeah. That's not the gospel. Let me try it again. Which gospel prophesied Muhammad? Oh, I don't know that. I know the Old Testament one. No, no, because your Quran says chapter 7, verse 157, there's a prophecy in the Torah and the gospel. Do you know what? which prophecy your Muslims quote, your Ikhwan quote? Which one? John from, 14. From the New Testament. John 14. John 15, John 16, where Jesus says, I will pray the Father and will give you another paraclete. And if you have the Halali Khan, Halali Khan version of the Quran, guess what they put in parentheses if you go to 7157? Do you have Halali Khan? Quran? No. Okay, can I send you the link? Because now you're going to embarrass Muhammad because your prophets tell me that the prophecy of Muhammad is in the Gospel of John. The very gospel you keep attacking. Oh, but that's John. Oh, but John is good enough to prove Muhammad was predicted. But when John proved Jesus is God, oh, but that's John. John wrote that. You see how stupid you sound when you argue this way? Here, let me show you. That's. Are you saying that's what Muslim scholars? All your scholars say that. Even Ibn Ishaq and Sirat Rasulullah. Do, do I need to quote him? Here you go. Yeah, but... That's, but Muslim scholars can say that. That doesn't mean it's a fact. So then I'm where sure is the prophecy, scholars. again, where is the prophecy of Muhammad in the gospel? See, you're embarrassing yourself. Because in chapter 7, verse 157, it says, there's a prophecy of Muhammad in the gospel that's with them. What gospel, what prophecy? Or is the Quran a lie? I just sent it to you. There you go. Lady Khan. What, what did they give as a prophecy of Muhammad in the Injil? It's in Halali Khan. It says, let me read it, those who follow the messenger of the prophet who can neither read nor write, whom they find written with them in the Torah, Deuteronomy 18.15, and the Injil Gospel, John 14.16. Oh, but wait, Hilal Khan, didn't you listen to your, uh, your sister, your ukhti here? That's John. Why are you going to John? You see, when you Muslims talk like this, you, make, you disgust us. And this is why we hate Muhammad with such a passion. Because yes. only a wicked demon could create such people. Only a false prophet like Muhammad could create such people like you, inconsistent, dishonest, and wicked. So John is good enough okay, so. to show that Muhammad is prophesied. But when the same John shows that Jesus claimed to be God, oh, but that's John. That's John. Who cares about John? You sure? You want me now go to Matthew, Mark, and Luke and show you that Jesus does what the Quran says Allah does? Yes. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to chapter 89, verses 21 to 22 of the Quran. Chapter 89, verses 21 to 22 of the Quran. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. I want you to read for me. Chapter 89, verses 21, 22. You read it for me. Okay. Okay, read it for me. Okay. 89, 21 the says, point. No, when the earth has been leveled, pounded, and crushed, yeah. And 22 says, and your Lord has come in the angels rank upon rank. So who's coming when the last day when the earth is crushed? Your Lord. And the angels, right? Yes. And if you read 23, this is the day of judgment. Because what does it say in 23? 
and brought within view the day is hell. That day man will remember, but what good to him will be the remembrance. Okay, so don't tell me, don't tap dance around this. It says, your Lord is coming with the angels at that day. That's the day of judgment. Okay, now mm -hmm. go to Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 210. Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 210. Okay. Read for me who's coming. 2, 2, 10. Yep. Chapter it 2, says, verse 10, read it. Do they, do they await but the Allah should come to them in covers of clouds and the angels as well and the matter is then decided and to Allah all matters are returned. So it's talking about the Jews. So you're waiting for Allah to come on the shadows of the clouds with the angels to decide the matter, meaning the day of judgment. So who comes on the shadows of the clouds with angels? Allah. You sure, right? That's what it says in okay. Bahara. Matthew 16, 27. Guys, I want you to hear. The Quran says, Allah is coming with the angels and he comes with the shadows of the clouds on the day of judgment. Okay. Matthew 16, 27. Let's see what Jesus says. Matthew 16, 27. Let's read. Pay attention. Watch what's going to happen here. You said you want from, not John, let me give you Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Okay. For the Son of Man will come in the glory of his Father with his angels and then he will reward each according to his works. Jesus says, I, the Son of Man, coming to the glory of my Father with the angels to repay people. According to the Quran, is the Prophet coming with the angels to judge? And the Quran, Surah Baqarah, says Allah. And then chapter 89 says, your Lord, right? Yes. It's but like Jesus said, Lord. Jesus said, I, the Son of Man, am coming in the glory of my Father with the angels to repay people according to what they've done. Oh, my goodness. Matthew 25. But it's not a contradiction. What is the contradiction? So you believe Jesus is your God, Allah? No, I said it's not a contradiction because... How can Matthew it not says, be a contradiction if Jesus is just a prophet? Well, How does he come with angels is, to judge the world when listen, your Quran says Allah is coming? Listen, this is one of my questions. Because in the Bible, Jesus always re refers to himself as son of man. So but you're you're, you're not that? listening, sister. Let's try it again. Jesus is son of man because he's man. What do you think? We think he's a ghost like Casper. But let me repeat. You're not listening. The son of man is coming in the glory of his father. So the son of man is the son of God. The glory of his father with the angels to judge. Is the Quran in agreement? Jesus is going to come with the angels to judge the world. That's what it says in the Quran, yes. So Jesus is coming to judge the world. So you just proved Jesus is Allah, your Lord. Thank you. I didn't say Jesus. I so said the Quran, the who's Lord. coming with the angels to judge the world? The Lord, yes. And he's coming with the angels to do what? To judge the world. And he's coming on the clouds, right? Yes. But Jesus said, I am the son of man, because he's man. Nobody thinks he's cast for the friendly ghost, who will come in the glory of my father with the angels to judge everyone. Do you believe that what Jesus said agrees with your Quran? Agrees with the Quran. The Quran's, um, oh my goodness, my goodness. You're so demonized. You can't, you see it, but you don't want to say it because now this proves Muhammad is the son of the devil. The Quran is clear. Allah, your Lord, comes yeah. to judge with the angels. Not a creature, not an Jibreel, not Muhammad, not a prophet. But in yeah. Matthew, Jesus says, I am the Son of Man. I will come in the glory of my Father with my angels, and I will judge the world and repay them. According to the Quran, Jesus is claiming what only Allah does. But let me give you a couple more from Matthew. Are you ready? Okay, sure. Matthew 24, 29 to 31. Matthew 24, 39, 29 to 31. Matthew 24, verses 29 to 31. Okay, let's read. Okay. okay we're going to, when you get there, I'm going to read it for you. Matthew 24, verses I'm 29 to 31. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Stars will fall from heaven. And the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Now watch 30. The sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. Then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven 
with power and great glory. Who? The Son of Man will come on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. They will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the earth to the other. So Jesus says, I, the Son of Man, will come on the clouds of heaven. I will send my angels to gather my elect at that day. Yet your Quran says it's your Lord, your Allah, who comes on the shadows of the clouds with the angels on that day. Wow. And in case you didn't get it, you still want to be blind? Matthew 25, verses 31 to 33. Matthew 25, verses 31 to 33. Matthew 25. Verses 31 to 33. Let's see what Jesus again says. Ah, when the Son of Man comes in his glory, the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. the billah min Muhammad rajim And he will sit on the throne of his glory. So the Son of Man will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him. And he will separate them one from another as a shepherd divides a sheep from the goats. Now notice verse 33. Let me read it for you. Mm -hmm. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Now, ha, who's the son of man who sends his angels, who sits on a throne of glory, and all the nations will stand before him as he judges them? Read Matthew 25, 34. Verse 34, pay attention. Matthew 25, verse 34. We're going to read okay. it now. Pay attention what Jesus says. Those on the right, then the king will say to those on his right, Come you, blessed of my father. Oh, the son of man says, God is my father. So he's the son of God. Come you, blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So here Jesus says, God is his father. He's the son of God. He's the son of man, because he's human too, who sits on the throne of glory. With his angels attending him, all the nations stand before him, and he judges all the nations, meaning he's going to judge your nation, he's going to judge you, your mother, your father, and he's going to judge Muhammad and condemn Muhammad to hell. So do you believe this, that Jesus is your Lord, your King, Son of God, who will judge you and Muhammad and your mother and your father and all nations, who comes on the clouds with the angels? This is Matthew. This is not John, so don't play games with me. Do you believe this? Mm -hmm. That's what's in Matthew, yeah. Okay, so Jesus in Matthew says, God is my father. I'm the son of man. I ride the clouds of heaven. The angels, I own them. I send them to gather the nations before me. As I sit on a throne, repay them and judge them. And the righteous, I will give them heaven, Jannah. And the wicked like Muhammad, I will send them to hell. And that's Matthew. Do you believe that about Jesus? I don't believe that about Jesus, but I'm oh. understanding what you're saying. So when you come to believe and receive, then God will save you from Muhammad and his filthy deen. Because if you keep going this way, you're going to end up in hell where your prophet is because your prophet was not a friend of Jesus. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all prove Muhammad was a son of Satan and Antichrist.